The eight broads are eight women of a certain age, I'm actually one of the youngest, if not the youngest, um, who have known each other for many years. We met at, at, at the National Innkeeping Conference um, that, uh, over the years when we realized we needed to do a blog or wanted to do a blog for marketing purposes and a friend, Catherine, and I realized that we didn't want to do it by ourselves. We um, thought of all of our wonderful friends from Seattle to Lenox, Massachusetts, and um, and we kind of all agreed to come together and write this blog, do the blog, The Eight Broads in the Kitchen, together. We blog about the foods that we love, the foods that we feed our guests, the things that show up on our um, tables for breakfast. Uh, it started as a request kind of a thing where guests could, you know, if we needed to have a recipe, a guest said, oh, can I have that recipe? Well, we said, okay, we'll put it on the blog. It was a great venue to answer guest requests and we, um, also uh, serve the innkeeping public by putting recipes up there for other innkeepers to use, etc. But uh, the new cookbook is just simply eight broads in the kitchen, um, and it contains uh, the best of the best. It's our best recipes, the ones that we're um, we've been asked for over and over. The ones that we've they're tried, they're true, they're tested, they're guest approved. Um, it has breakfast recipes, which can also be used for brunch um, or a light dinner, a light supper. The uh, the Florentine would be a fabulous light supper with a salad or um, afternoon tea and pastries like the coconut cookies, etc. We have that, that venue too, some cakes in there. Yeah. My favorite is the egg sausage souffle just because it's, it's called a mushroom and egg bake in there because it's, not tri tri it's a, more of a bread pudding than it is a souffle. Um, it's with fresh mushrooms and Emmentaler and Gruyere cheeses and um, a sausage, and it's done, oh, it's just fabulous. It's the one thing my kids ask for over and over and over again, and when the girls got married, that was the recipe they called home and wanted first.